um, which lead me to Sabine. Hi. So tell us, Sabine, uh, tell us about your business. So my business is called Tabuj, and it means slipper in Armenian. I'm making a silk pajama here. It's being made in New York, actually, at Madame Paulette, and it'll be available during holiday on your site, hopefully. That's it'll be like a two-piece set, so it'll be super cute. The logo will be running down the straps, and it'll be like a silk cute. tank and silk shorts that are supposed to feel like you're not wearing anything. Cool. And yeah, hopefully it just makes you feel really confident and like sexy at home, so. Can we ask what colors? I'm already yeah. thinking. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking of doing white okay, and then one royal blue. So like a really dark, like Pretty. rich blue. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. Oh, it's so exciting. Yeah. Yeah. For holiday, who wouldn't want to, what do you, what? Yeah. So let me ask you a question. Go ahead. In my opinion, you know, on when we think about pajamas, right? We want all types of fabric, right? We want cotton, we want silk. Can you do all different types of fabrics? I can. Okay. Yeah. Right. Like crystals. <gasps> How are you? Can you hear us? I feel like you can because it's through the mic. The mic, yeah, yeah. I'm good. Chris. Oh, good. there we go, yeah. Good. How are you? I, I didn't know I'll put you on. Oh, no. <laughs> Do you want to introduce Chris? Does anyone Hi. know Chris? Have you met Chris before? No. no. I, I, I have met someone before. Okay. Hi, Chris. I can't hear what he, he said. He said I have to show, show support. So yes, like, you do. We are so <laughs> grateful. Uh, we're talking about manufacturing, and well, listen, Chris led a movement of, you know, shop local, right? And, you know, he is um, a huge fan of our site. You know, when I started this, this was about the anti-Amazon. Mm. And Chris, um, at the exact same time, was leading the same movement. We did not know each other. And my son uh, was on Madison Avenue and saw Chris and came home and said, Mom, there's a man who has the same mission <laughs> and doesn't like Amazon. And I reached out to Chris. Um, and you know, really, the reason why I don't like Amazon is because they don't promote local businesses. They don't support um, the local folks. Um, you know, they're, they're, they hoard any money they can. And you know, essentially, Chris had the same mission. They weren't giving the money back to the workers. And that's why local is so important. So God bless you, Chris. Thank you for calling in. Nice to meet you. We love you. Absolutely. I want, I want to tell, I want to show the people, don't shop here. Where I'm at, don't shop here. Don't shop here. No. Yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. We don't know them. <laughs> we don't know them. I know. Happy anniversary, Chris. <laughs> Happy anniversary. <laughs> Same to you. Thank you. I mean, they're out there every day. Incredible. Every day. Um, they started an amazing movement. So I think, you know, when we think about how you're going to start, a lot of our viewers are your age. Mm -hmm. um, and they're trying to start their businesses and. Um, Do it. Exactly. <laughs> Do it. Exactly. And when you start your business, you have to think about the expense of it, right? Yes. Um, and how to manufacture and how to produce. Mm -hmm. um, so how did you go about that? Was it your family that supported you through that? No. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so mentally, yes. Um, so I worked after college and I lived, like didn't leave my house for a while just to put money aside to start a business. And I did it on my own. And so this is 100% me. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. amazing. So, amazing. Good for you. Yeah. But well, I couldn't yeah. do it without the support of Pauline, my, of Rafi, of everyone around me. Of course, okay. obviously. Who is Rafi? Oh. 